just going to wait for the intro. Hello and welcome back to Ryan Family Amusements in Mills, Massachusetts. It is the round of eight. Once again, we get Jeff Soret and Dave Barber on the featured lane, 17 and 18. And Pete Ricciatelli and Mark Gallagher. They just, All right. They just took down John John Winchell and uh, Jim Boyet with a huge string, one, a 130 string from Mark Gallagher. Pete Ricciatelli comes in on the head pin. And in his oats, drops it down to the five and nine. And it is Ricitelli, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Surrett. Got a piece of the head pin. That's enough to cause a big splash. With that killer backup ball. And a three pin. Okay, that one got away. Ricitelli has to control that hook. Yeah. Ricitelli's still recovering from uh, abdominal surgery last year. Surrett spares. Yeah, Surrett has, has the lead. But uh, before his injury, he was one of the most accurate bowlers in the game. Had as many as 18 in a row on his object. And uh, I just got to say, you know, those abdominal linings and those muscles are really tough. They, 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 they are hard to, hard to repair. He, just in, in recent months, he said he's, he's felt his accuracy coming back. Anyway, nine in the first. Down one. In a, one Ooh. string match. Was that was that a crossover that left the five, the kick in? I believe so. Surrett gets nine. Puts that lead up to ten. Direct hit. A naked ten pin. Chris Telly's got a he's got the, the pin's about about three feet in front of the of the uh, king pin, but it's straight back. Just get it straight back, like that. Spare in the second. Right. Gets the corner pit. Right. Having no, leaving no doubt on that one. E easier with his backup ball to get the right hand corner, but still a tricky corner nonetheless. Hey, in the opposite bracket, uh, the winner of this match is going to face uh, Ryan Crowell against Jonathan Boudreau or um, Mike McIntosh and Eric Pelletier. Lane delay, keep going. Okay. Um, in the other bracket, on the other side of the, uh, we have we have uh, Justin Waters advancing with with uh, with Danny Harris against Matt Susi and Jack Berrigan, and uh, they're going to play the winner of Evan Riva, Aaron Saint 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 Cyr versus Joey Lister and Craig Holbrook. Holbrook and Lister survived a. a a tie that went into overtime. Now, Ristelli in the bonus, take, starts the ball high above his head, brings it in. The right, the left to right ball cooks past the head pin. Surrett digs in again, another nine shot. drop. So another four point gain there for uh, Surrett. It's his third straight. Ristelli's a little wild on that one. He's going to be poke, poking at those for a 10. For the spare. Wow. Another one. Jeff Surratt's having one of those dialed in strings. We saw him miss the head pin a lot of times in the last one, but when he gets on target. Right, that's, a, that's an eight. Eight, excuse me. That's an eight, so it's 32. Thank you. Five pin was hidden there. All right, first ball in the fourth coming up next. I saw Barry Tell you, I, I, this, the joy on his face when Mark Gallagher won that, um, won that match. He was down on his knees, pleading for the result to go their Jim way. Jim What a big. And coming back from an injury like that, it just, you know, it's, it's not the most important thing in the world whether you can knock down sticks with a rock, but. Well, they can't know. all be nine drops. <laughs> Five on that, Phil. And I hear a lot of you saying, well, why not? <laughs> For the spare. He's got something to play with there. If he hits it, he does. Nice shot, Pete. That was wired together. Second spare for Ristelli. Very good. Surrett oh, finds a way with the wood. That connect. Wow. Was that on purpose? I don't know. I encourage audience members to watch their language. It is. Unbelievable. Ristelli on the bonus. Hits thin on the left side of the head pin. 
and gets five. Very much holding its own, 47 through four. Uh, Surrett with a little four spares to start this one off. Crossed over, that's seven. Last nine, plus seven more. It has himself at 70 after four, 30 over already. Assuming 10 a box. Ristatelli for the spare. Nope. You just can't assume 10 a box for Jeff. You also can't assume 10 a box for me, but that's entirely different. And Surrett. It stopped short. Wow. The cap of the wood. <laughs> and he let it set Another can of hairspray to get it back there or something. To... He's upset. <laughs> the spare he had in the fourth was, fourth was unlikely. That was even more unlikely. That just indignant, damn, when the cap just stopped short. That's, That's an 80, 80 pin 80 perfect half. half. That's right. Remember, the winner, the winner of this match will, <laughs> will play the winner of Mike McIntosh and Eric Pelletier versus Brian Crowell and... Uh, Jonathan Boudreau. Well, it's here at a 96 half. That 96 half was actually happening at the same time as Evan Rivas won 12 half, 114 half. That was an insane watch. We got to clip that later. I think Craig Holbrook just threw an 81 in that match on our left. Whoops. Waters at 70 in a ball. We're filling in the brackets at home. Gallagher on the head pin. Gets yes! at the ball from behind. Wow. Nine that was a five. five. Thank you very much. Five seven would be quite something, and Barber came an inch away. And he's in disbelief. Is he okay? I think so. I, I was worried he was looking down at his hand, but I think he's completely fine. Just a little annoyed that didn't go. That's eight, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 21 pins, and then we saw Gallagher come up clutch last time, That's just right. off camera. He puts up an 80 half, we're gonna have quite a match. Gallagher. Okay, five on the fill. Gallagher is a, down to 16. Gallagher is a very interesting approach we should analyze in a second. First, Jeff Surratt, Dave Barber, I beg your pardon. Wrong green shirt, washed out six, four horsemen. Look how he stands at the left side of the lane, then approaches the middle. Wow! Two spares in a row for Gallagher. Fantastic mark, fantastic beard if I may say so myself, and a fantastic start to the string back to back. Barber chops the head pin. That's eight. Again for Barber. Just made a back, like a back row crazy spin. Like yeah. 25 in a ball. Gallagher's feeling to slice the lead in half or something akin to that. Team of Harris and Waters has a five mark to two lead in their match. Gallagher on the fill here. So actually, the approach of these two bowlers tends to be. Seven on that one, 32. Ooh. And just three for Barber on that. Come on. And how about that? Three really tough spares in a row. Yeah. Gallagher actually hasn't gotten a single head pin hit first ball, but it's coming back nicely every Barber's single way. Yeah, Barber's still looking at five pins with his third ball after the spread eagle talent. <laughs> He's still got it. Oh, man. Just like that, he drops five. Of the, and the yeah. lead is two. Yeah, Penn's getting away in a hurry, and now Gallagher can fill for the lead. After Surrett went pin perfect. Surrett walked right up to him, patted him on the back, and now they're talking head, head to head, just off camera. You can see the, on it, the left side of Day's head. He said, you know, these guys know how to play. Gallagher, though. He's just learning, and he's coming alive like that. Seven on that, Phil, and uh, three pieces of wood in play out in front. Maybe four. 
Barber finds the head pin, splits things. Third split. And you get those ugly red dots up there. Well, not dots here, but. There has been an official lead change. Gallagher can't connect on that one, but good pins, good pins. Barber, Barber just off object. Trying to send that three and one over. Joey Lister just made a spread eagle to our right. If you, you can see that behind the on the right side off, off camera. You can see the pins, you couldn't see him throwing. Nothing Joey Lister does surprises me anymore. And what is surprising is Barber throwing another eight. <laughs> he apparently just missed an easy spare. I don't know. Gallagher trying to get back on that spare train in it. Oh, he did not. Me. He <laughs> left ahead. Got a jet to the strike. <laughs> Through stratosphere. What a side. He's sitting down at 69. Two balls. Dave gets his best look now. Seven pin. Oh, it's tough when it's your first big break, and he makes it happen. That was big. That yeah, was big indeed. Seven pin lead. A ball for each team, two balls in, way in the form of that strike from Mark Gallagher. So advantage, Ricitelli and Gallagher, but none other than Jeff Surrett through, through an 80 half. Seems to have it dialed in. Let's see if he can do it. We're sitting down and then standing back up again. It, it's all, it can be night and day. Let's see what happens here with Jeff Surrett though. Just missed. Just missed the head pin. Not by much, but. That's a tough spare lead. Ricitelli's on the head pin, a little too full. In fact, gets the one, five, and eight. Surrent wide left on that one. Ricitelli high to low. Nope, that's off. He'll need to go likely right side to get some more sticks out of this. Still got six up there. Surrett, the perfect game is no longer a matter of concern. Very well. Ricitelli hits his object. Oh, object pin. Two out of three objects and five pins. That is awful. Well, swings the pen, pinning pendulum a little closer to even, although still five more pins left standing for team one. And that is the thing that's holding them back in the match, otherwise they would have the lead if they were ahead on pinning instead. Also six marks to five. Jeff Surrett. Back on the head pin and a strike. I don't know what the last of all was. Two or three of them fell at the, in the back at the last minute. Equally good placement, but they fell as one. Yep. A three and one split with no wood. Five marks for Jeff Surratt. Ricitelli takes aim. In the oh, two four. Wood only makes it halfway across. What a bid. All right, Ricitelli will take aim at this for a 10. In the seventh. He's got his score. That's uh, 10. Up to 72. Team score is at 141, a four pin lead. Surrett, though, yep. is about to looking to make that a lead change right here. Extra mark. Ouch. Now the fill on that strike becomes significant with the second ball. Richitelli. That was digs five of them. Digs back in. That nine pin won't tip. Leaning and weaving, bobbing and standing. Uh, there's wood covering each, but you can only use one of them. Okay. Oh. That's a six fill. But it is a lead change, a two pin lead now for the team of Surrett and Barber. Hello. Gallagher with a strike fill to Barber's spare fill. Yeah, Mark has a strike instead of a spare. Indeed. Peter Ricitelli now for the spare. No, it turns in and between the nine and 10. Bad helicopter. 
So does Surrett. Surrett takes three. That was a that was a good cross to get yeah. that third pin. That Extra pins. Pin. That might matter. And he, he gets eight. He so he, yeah, he ended up taking a pin in that in that exchange. But it looked like uh, Aristotelli was gonna was gonna so a three pin lead for Surrett and Barber. Another, Virtually tied. Another thriller on this pair of lanes. Right down the middle. Leaves the triangle in the mid left. Fronted by the two pin. Here comes Pete. Just curled around. But one, two, seven, and the wood sits in front of the seven. So two may take three. And Soret is on his object, just about where you want it, just about where you asked for it. But four pin disagrees. Chris Telly for the spare. No, he's outside. That one got away. For the pin, 10. Oh, there it is. Well, all right. It was wired as I had suspected. 10 it is. Okay, no blood on that exchange. A three pin lead still for Surrett and Barber. One strike, five spares each. Four pins left, more left standing for team one. Well, they do have a three pin lead. Jeff Surrett, first ball, in the 10th box. We are in the Elite Eight, the round of eight. Men's doubles, Pro Series. Right down the middle, maybe a little full, doesn't matter now. Two pinner on the left. Precious that alley. one, one, two, eight. Never, never gave the head pin a look. Just, Kind of curved off into the three pin, but he's got the he's got the one, two, and eight to the spare. Surrett, fairly straightforward pair here. Off the tips. No, oh. he played the wood. Wood deflected in front of the seven pin and doesn't carry it. I think he was thinking if I miss, miss right, and he missed right, and it just wasn't that good. Kelly, that doesn't curve back for him. No mark. And you can see him without the wood, um, but but it looked like he had he looked like he had it either way. And it didn't go with the wood. All right, Pete hoping that Mark Gallagher carries the day again. Surrett, 133. He takes picks up one pin on that last exchange, a four pin lead, and you can see it on your screen. A strike for Gallagher, a spare for Barber. It's four. Minus one. Yep. Ish. Just taking I mean, a look Gallagher, up here, of course. If Gallagher gets a double, then the world, the world will turn. Yep. It'll turn either way, though. They have had a rough half, it has to be said, but a spare fill. Barber scoots past the head pin. And Gallagher drops down Six. just a little left. Still got one fill ball. That was a six fill. They're still on the strike though. And open in the six is Barber. Four horsemen. Still coming. He Woods in the middle. Three of them. He gets it. Spare on strike. And Barber gets ten. All right. The match is tied. The bonus in the direction of Ristelli and Gallagher. We have four boxes to play. Yeah, Ty and Gallagher's got them all. Craig Holbert just threw a strike on our right. Oohs and ahs from the crowd tells he's... Dave Richie Tully just came back here to ask what the score is. Tie game, buddy. That's right. And a uh, good ball, but not a great lead. The spare fill, Gallagher. six. Six and it that's is. the lead, six for the team of Ristelli and Gallagher. Five marks out of six for Mark Gallagher. Chance again with a check mark. <laughs> hey. Surrett comes up to talk talk about this lead. Oh boy. You see you see the the way that is, I, I think it bounces off that if you hit the ribbon, it bounces to the right. Watch. Boom! It did and not. I don't think he hit the ribbon. He needed to hit the ribbon and the pin at the same time. Maybe right at center. Hey, at least two, Mark. Gallagher, no or you could have gone for the tip, but you had to choose one. You had to hit it right in the middle. Anyway, it didn't go. It didn't go. Dave Barber picks up a 10 box. Gallagher. 10. No, no. Ooh. All right. That's eight. So the lead now is four. 
Barber picked up a, a pair there. Up with three to play. It's proving it's Barber. Yeah, the pinning itself is just about even now. It's within one, but that extra mark for team two. Barber was the uh, Turn of the Champions runner-up last season. Team two has had no spare fill higher than seven, but they've had a lot of them. Whereas Jeff nine drops Surrett was just dishing it out in Tough the first there. half. Gallagher in. Nine fall Ooh. and the seven pin is shaking, but he's looking at. What a spin and conversion. Mark. Throw spare there. Gallagher. Through, through, get it. Matching spares. The lead is four for Gallagher and Ricitelli on your left. Well, I've, I've been talking about the uh, fill balls here. It's going to be critical of fill quality. Oh. Right down the middle. Five on that for Barber. What a chance for Mark Gallagher. Okay, misses on the left-hand side of the two pin and gets five. So each, bo each bowler gets five. No, no Bush is a great no result points. for team two. Yep. Barber has a terrible leave by no fault of his own. Three and one. Now he's got a pin again. Second ball in the ninth. Ooh. Not a good way to chop through there either. We've seen Gallagher pin, chop through a three pin array before. Each bowler would like love to get a three, I think, right here. How about two for Barber? Maybe. Comes back, and that's going to be. Keep beating through it. Oh, that's that's another pins. Gainer. That makes it a five pin lead with one to play. Uh, six even, I believe. Is it? 99, 128. 128. Yes, okay, six Okay, it's pins. a six pin lead. Sorry, my apologies. Oh, Bar yeah, that's right, because it's Barber had name. Barber must, Barber must mark. get a mark. How about that? Nine and a strike. He had to get it. Now Gallagher must match with some sort of mark. Oh, what a leave, oh, though. No. Oh, okay. And That's a leaning, the, and the ninth is a leaning go, jowler. This one goes about half, a little less than half the time in my experience. It's like a three-pinner. And with that wood there, it's a, it, he just needs to hit that. On the right pin. side. Let's see, let's see. Oh. No. It bounced around. Not over yet. Barber needs to fill, but it's very probable he will. He's got two balls to throw six, right? Uh, or less. And then if this goes, oh no, now he has two balls to get four. Oh, that might Two balls to get four pins to tie, five to win. Barber has a five earlier. But gotta think. Good to see all of you watching out there. Wow. What a heroic effort. Two balls. 136 from Barber. That's, That's four, four exact. Them. We're tied. The match is tied. All right. The play is one the, pin to win. The play is the three pin, right? Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> I think you've got to play the three pin. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Just as thank goodness I'm not throwing yep. it. And yes, right the fill the is pin. there. That's what he needed to win, and he did it. No wild pitch in that one. Whoa, what a match. Eight marks apiece. One pin difference in the pinning. I think it was just that little bit extra and that chain Surrett really got going on with all those nine drops at the beginning. That's what mattered in the end. 238 to 235. We're going to end this stream here. The semifinals are up next here on Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Like, follow, and subscribe so that you're notified. We'll see you very, very soon.